Hello, I'm Tyler Smith Coppice. And I'm Andrew Tapper. And welcome to Sabre TV 2.0. Holiday, Holiday edition. edition! Andrew, do you recycle? I sure do, Tyler. But shouldn't we be doing that here at the school as we, well? We do. Check out this interview with Lydia Dellinger. Hi, I'm Julia, recording for Sabre TV. And today we have an interview with Lydia Dellinger for the recycling video. So who came up with this idea for the recycling? Um, the idea for recycling has been around for a very long time. I know that 2008, as early as 2008, they tried to get kicked off in student council. Um, I ran for student council um, between freshman and sophomore year, and that was um, part of my platform was I really wanted to get recycling kicked off. So when I got into student council last year, I um, made sure that we got a committee started. And what is student council's role? Um, we kind of tried to instigate it try and get recycling going. This year it's um, it's more of a minor role. We've got our committee and the committee works on publicizing the efforts for um, recycling and letting the school, the students know like what they can do and what's happening. We put up a lot of posters around the lunchroom and the school. Why did you want to start recycling? Personally, I, um, I saw it as something that our school really lacked and that's something we could really use because if you think about how many people are here, how many energy drinks we drink every morning and how many energy drinks get just thrown away. It's just crazy. I, I saw this as an opportunity to make a huge impact in, in an area that I care about. And as far as uh, everyone else in student council goes, I think they all really, I, I, think, I think the students of this school really care about, you know, doing a good job and, and making sure that they are being responsible. Yeah, I think it's a good idea with the recycling and thank you for this interview. All right. <laughs> oh, that was great. That really warms me up inside, Tyler. You know what else warms me up inside? What's that, Andrew? Alex, you heard of his farm report. Cows can sing. They sure can. You know what, Andrew? It's been awfully cold outside lately. It sure has. I wonder how long it's going to stay cold. Let's, Let's check it out. Jordan Evan here with the weather report. Mother Nature has given us something beautiful to look at for this Christmas break. That's right, folks. It's going to be a white Christmas this holiday. And if you're heading anywhere, please stay safe on your journey. And to stay warm, just jerk it out. And always remember the true meaning of Christmas. Presents, back to you. And love. <laughs> Man, that sure is good to know. Sure is. Now let's take a commercial break. This algebra homework is so gay. Hey! When you say that's so gay, do you realize what you're saying? That'd be like if I said, Oh man, this homework is so annoying little junior kid in a hoodie sweatshirts. What? Get the message. Hey Jordan, what's been up with you lately? I don't know. I'm just not cool anymore. Yeah, you got that right, you stupid ginger. Hey, I know just the thing. Really? Yeah, follow me. All right. Have you heard that there's new Sabre apparel for sale? I am not. Come on, it's in the lunchroom in the canteen. Let's go. Let's go. We need to pimp this loser out. Give me everything you got, including the silly bands. I'm all savored out now. Maybe this was a bad idea, Evan. Ah, wow, this book sucks. I don't know where this belongs. Hey you! The Sartell Choirs are putting on a book drive, and they want you to donate! There's a book drive going on? Here a book! There a book! Everywhere a book book! But why stop at just one? Bring as many books as possible! Just remember, 
Knowledge is power. Hi. Here at Saber TV, we know that what truly makes a good news team is really getting to know each other. So when me and Andrew were assigned the roles of the news anchors for the third episode of Saber TV, we did just that. me up in the morning, Andrew. What's that, Tyler? A nice big bowl of knowledge. Let's see how much knowledge is actually in the bowl. Uh, knowledge Bowl tends to be an activity for kids that are interested in that trivia type of background. Um, it's questions that really encompass every um, learning area uh, available to kids here in high school, whether it's biology or physics to math and pre-calc and trigonometry to, of course, social studies. Everything in social studies gets hit knowledgeable to, um, you'll see family and consumer science in here as well. So. Knowledgeable meets a uh, couple mornings a week, couple days a week after school. Our schedule is pretty flexible. Um, we practice when it works for kids and when it works for me during the week as well. So. Well, I kind of say that it's it's like the Marines. You know, if you don't uh, come into knowledgeable and you're willing to sacrifice the blood, sweat, and tears that are necessary, you can't succeed just like anything else. So. I'm kidding. Knowledge Bowl is, uh, is a great activity because um, really like, like any um, sport or other activity people are involved in, you meet people that you're going to have friends um, years beyond high school. You're going to gain valuable experience um, just in a, in a team group format uh, where you have to learn to work together and rely on one another. I would encourage people to consider joining. It's a lot of fun. Uh, if you're interested in Knowledge Bowl, uh, come and talk to me at any point. 